A psychopath that belongs in a straight jacket. Psychopath? He's talking to the air, Byron. He's not talking to the air, Michael. He's talking to little Jimmy. The following contest is a last man standing match. Making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds. I spoke to little Jimmy earlier on tonight. I bet you did. He couldn't barely contain his excitement. Coming to NXT for the first time? What a moment. Hey, did you see that? Dumb little Jimmy just tripped up the stairs. Well, it happens from time to time. Our truth is such a talented guy, but he is a brick shy of a load. I'm going to tell him you said that, Michael. Byron, you are dancing. I know. I enjoy his music. Good head bobbing music. Oh, I think little Jimmy's coming here. Ah, oh, little Jimmy. He's back. From Miami, Florida, weighing in at 275 pounds, The Rock! One of the all-time greats! The Brahma Bull, the people's champ, the most electrifying man in entertainment. The Rock is here, and this place is rocking! A man who has spearheaded one Hollywood. of the most memorable eras of WWE, taken over Hollywood, and served as a prototype for what it is to be a superstar. It's okay, Byron. You're not the only one in awe of The Rock's presence. The Rock has an aura like no one else. Big time, last man standing match kicking off here. This might be it! Oh my! Oh, look at it. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Look at this. Boom. Nice. What a stomp. Good grief. Looks like our truth is running out of steam here. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guys. This last man standing match has clearly taken its toll on him, but I wouldn't count him out just yet. I'm sure he has something up his oh, sleeve. Wow. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. Face buster! Our truth is preaching the truth as he knows it. And it's The Rock with the reversal. Harsh impact. Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. You know, I'd say matches like this really drive superstars to take risks they normally wouldn't take. An example that immediately comes to mind would be Shane McMahon's actions in Unforgiven in 2003. Beautiful technique. The Rock may be in a bad way here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. To elaborate more than that Unforgiven 2003 match, Oh boy, he is rolling. The Rock Ooh. turns it around. Great job escaping, trying to turn Ooh. this thing around.
People oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Truth knows what it's like to hold WWE gold. Whenever the rapping superstar is in the ring, he gladly shows opponents that the wow. truth hurts. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Boom! Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Nasty drop. We will go on. Guys, one of my favorite matches from the In Your House era would have to be December 1996 Armageddon Rules match between The Executioner and The Undertaker, which many say was a precursor to today's last man standing match. R-Truth clearly out of his element here. And at this point, Man. you have to wonder if he could recover from this. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely oh, insane. Man. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. As Byron was saying, Armageddon Rules was undoubtedly a precursor to today's last man standing match. The difference then, however, was the referee began his 10 count only after a superstar pinned his opponent for the three count. And on that night, as Vince McMahon said on commentary, the executioner was executed by The Undertaker. You gotta believe this one's over. It's no secret, guys, that the last man standing match tests a superstar like no other contest. Nowhere else do the rules dictate you must decimate your opponent so much that they cannot answer the count of 10. And the beat goes on. The Rock may be in a bad way here. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. Hey, oh. you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. The thing about the unique rules of this match, as Michael was saying, is that superstars will go to amazing extremes to keep their opponents down for a 10 count. No, oh, that's the truth, Saxton. Last man standing has definitely resulted in some unique usage of everything from weapons to pay-per-view sets and everything in between. On, he dodges out of the way. Impact. Man, let the ref do his job. Slam down hard. That's how you wear down your opponent. A long way down. Look at this. Suplex. One, two, three. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. Five, six, Not over yet. Ooh, not sure how much more Rock can take. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. The rep wasn't finished. Here comes Michael. Oh, oh, that's what's up. The Rock's not looking so great here, guys. 
Here comes our tr Boom! Face first. The Rock's not looking so great here, guys. Oh, it's going to be hard for The Rock to come back now. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. Seven, eight, this match ain't over yet. Face Buster! What a stop! Good grief! Oh, nasty impact. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Our truth might be playing to the crowd a bit too much here. Time will tell. Oof. Come on. Let the ref do his job. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Six, seven, and this eight, match is going to continue. Hook them. Not the fall that hurts. It's the sudden stop at the end. Rock just barely got out of the way. So quick. Boom, what impact. Uh-oh, here we go. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Our troop seems to be really worn out. I have a feeling this isn't going to end well for him. He's definitely in trouble, Cole. He might want to rethink his strategy and keep this match in the ring. Well, on the plus side, he's not the only one in that ring struggling for air right now. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Our truth is speaking truth to power right now. Here comes Michael. Oh, that's what's up. This one is over. Two. Three. Four. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal. I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. And the beat goes on. Brutal face buster. No reason for that. He's playing with him now. Here he goes. Spring rattling. Wow, what a gritty performance. Two. Three. Four. Five. There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep. Get rid of the self-doubt and continue on toward victory. Our truth did it. Here is your winner. Tremendous showing for.
multi-time world champion. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, Ooh. both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Hook them. Absolutely spiked. DDT. Nailed it. Look at this. Ooh. He's lining him up. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's. Here it comes, Michael. Oh, that's what's up. Now that's how you make a statement. Harsh impact. Ooh, what impact. Whoa, Angle dodged that one. Yeah, he's still got it. Counter here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Angle's got him locked up. One. Angle's not done. Here comes another two. Perhaps the trifecta. Damn. Three German suplexes. This is all but over. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Face buster. Man, that was vicious. Our truth is speaking truth to power right now. Oh, that's what's up. That could be it, guys. He might have it. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. Now he's got it. His shoulders are down. Two, three, Digging five. deep for a kick out. Kick out by Kurt. If you think that's going to defeat an Olympic gold medalist, you need professional psychiatric help. The WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude was the second half of the double main event at 1990 SummerSlam. The rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing One was so heated that no one knew what to expect once the two men were able to battle inside a steel cage, which at the time was the most grueling match in all of WWE. The Ultimate Warrior dominated early on with his incredible strength. Rick Rude turned the tables and used shoulders on the back. Easily kicks out of that one. Gonna take a whole lot more. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, a sharp one right to the cheekbone. And guys, we're seeing Angle in a tough situation. Might just have nothing left to give, guys. I'm not sure he has much left. Angle's gonna need intensity, integrity, and intelligence to get back into this match. Hip drop. impact from way up high. Can he score the pin? 
How does he keep doing this? He's still in this. Boom, what impact. What's he going to do with it? He's making a statement here with this attack. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, and it's a reversal. Here it comes, Michael. Oh, oh, that's what's up. Wow, I'm just as surprised. This could be it. Cover. Oh, how resilient was that? Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. He's calling for it. Whoa. Down for the face buster. Just when you thought he had, he's going for the pin. This steel cage match is in the books. Here is your winner, R. True. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. Guys, I think we may need to check the authenticity of Angle's Olympic gold medal after a loss like that. That was embarrassing. Don't be ridiculous, Corey. Folks, that match is why people say the Royal Rumble pay-per-view is a can't-miss event. Check it out, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, the low rider. Riding in style. And his opponent. From El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero! You guys feel that? Just got a little warmer in here, gentlemen, because Latino heat is on the scene. Oozing charisma. Not many compare to Eddie Guerrero. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. There he goes, crashing to the floor. One, Look at this. Two, three. Trying to dislocate the shoulder. What does our truth have to do at this point to stay in this match? His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time certainly not on his side, Michael. And the slam. And Eddie Guerrero says, not this time. 
Inverted suplex. Oh, the reversal by Eddie Guerrero. Uh-oh, Eddie Guerrero is looking to end it. Oh, what a DDT! Wow. Incredible. Our truth is just getting overwhelmed. While I personally think R-Truth is one of the worst rappers in the history of music, what? his offense in the ring is no joke. An opponent has to be ready for Truth to try and land his high-speed offense as soon as the bell rings. Five. Six. He's starting to stagger a bit. I don't think he expected oh. to be in this position here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, but he's still in considerably better overall shape than his opponent right now. I mean, it seems to me like he still has plenty of fight left in him. Two. Three. What a strike. Four. Knee drop. Must be nice to be able to dial it up when you need to. Six. Back in the ring now. Face plant. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh man, right to the neck. Assault on the lower back. Our truth is speaking truth to power right now. Oh, impactful slam. Here it comes, Michael. Oh, that's what's up. But is it enough to end it? Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh. Eddie Guerrero is in bad shape right now. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. I'm not used to seeing this. Let's not write him off yet. Remember, his opponent isn't necessarily whistling Dixie either. Here we go. You gotta believe this one's over. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. Nailed it. He caught him slipping. Our troop needs to dig deep and find that little something extra here, or this is going to be over. So agile. Guys, now I see. Our truth did it. Here is your winner. Strategy fell into place with that victory. Anytime you can pick up a win inside a WWE ring, you have something to be extremely proud of. And the crowd here tonight still in awe over that great match. Just to give, not to want, just to send. 
send the power of the warrior down everybody's throat. What are the up? And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Face first. Incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. This might be it. Oh, my. Feel the power of the ultimate warrior. He's got him covered. No shoulders up at two. He's got some more fight in him, guys. Got the uh -oh. Beautiful technique. Sometimes I'm surprised R-Truth was able to focus long enough to create a finishing move. When Truth drills an opponent with the lie detector, what usually follows is he's got the shoulders down. And it's R-Truth able to stop the count. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. R-Truth seems to be really worn out. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. R-Truth with a nice reversal. Corey, I'd be careful about how you speak R-Truth. Truth makes sure whenever he drills an opponent with a lie detector that they suffer a direct hit. One of the most dangerous things about the lie detector is R-Truth can drill an opponent with it, whether Truth is on the offensive or defensive side of things. Look at R-Truth, Jay. There's no doubt about it. He's in trouble. And that's the truth. R-Truth needs to dig deep and find that little something extra here or this is going to be over. Could have a stiff neck for a while. The best way to describe combatants clashing inside a steel cage is its battle of attrition. Sometimes a superstar is left with no choice but to fight fire with fire and do whatever they need to do in order to win the match. And sometimes it comes down to a superstar doing whatever they need to do in order to survive. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. Our truth is speaking truth to power right now. He's making a statement here with this attack. Byron, you touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's no... We got a cover. Here it comes, Michael. Oh, that's what's up. The Ultimate Warrior just too fast for him. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. This could be it. What a face buster. Here's a cover. One, two, and he's able to get the shoulder up. Might have slipped there, Cole. What a stop. Good grief. It's obvious right now that Ultimate Warrior is feeling the abuse that has been dealt out in this match so far. I wouldn't be surprised if he just passes out right here. He has got to do something quick. The Ultimate Warrior is going to need to draw in the strength of his Warriors to stay in this. He goes down hard. Yeah, he's not looking very good at this point, Cole. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. Here it comes, Michael. Oh, that's what's up. 
He goes for the cover. Two! And he got a near fall out of it. This is amazing! Our truth might be playing to the crowd a bit too much here. Time will tell. Boom! <laughs> this is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh! The big scissors kick! Oh! The big scissors kick! Here we go for the win! Three! Our truth did it! Here is your winner, our truth! What a ferocious conclusion to this steel cage match. Sometimes you step in the ring and just refuse to lose. I think that's what we saw here tonight. As usual, this Philadelphia crowd is beyond boisterous tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. champion, former Intercontinental Champion, Tag Team Champion, and WWE Champion. Triple H is right where he belongs in the spotlight with the eyes of the WWE Universe fixated squarely on his chiseled physique. Broke into the main event scene with the likes of The Rock, McFoley, Big Show, all at WrestleMania 2000. And has never looked back since. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Beautiful side Russian leg sweep. Face buster! Man, that was vicious. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Our truth is speaking oh. truth to power right now. Oh, that's what's up. 
Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Triple H. The game starting to stagger a bit here. If he's not careful, this can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on Ooh. so much thunderous slam. Sometimes I'm surprised R-Truth was able to focus long enough. One, two. A kick out. This one's not over yet. The King of Kings won't be dethroned just yet. Yeah, too much experience. What a scary drop. Corey, I'd be careful about how you speak our truth. Truth makes sure whenever he drills an opponent with a lie detector that they suffer a direct hit. One of the most dangerous things about the lie detector is our truth can drill an opponent with it, whether truth is on the offensive or defensive side of things. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Here it comes, Michael. Oh, ho. that's what's up. And a quick pin attempt by R-Truth. While I personally think R-Truth is one of the worst rappers in the history of music, what? his offense in the ring is no joke. An opponent has to be ready for Truth to try and land his high-speed offense as soon as the bell rings. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. One of the things, and Corey, you mentioned this earlier, that a superstar has to be cautious of is when they're in there against R-Truth and Truth tries to immediately land his high-speed, high-impact offense. R-Truth loves having fun in that ring, but you better believe that when it comes to perfecting an offensive arsenal, R-Truth is all business, so an opponent better be ready for Truth to bring it as soon as that bell rings. What a slam. Our truth doing a little dancing now. I don't know if there's another superstar in WWE who loves entertaining more than our truth. But if you cross the line, our truth is more than happy to let a superstar know what's up. He can crank it up whenever the mood strikes him. Here comes Michael. Oh, that's what's up. R-Truth loves having fun in and out of the ring and loves entertaining the WWE Universe. But if a superstar tries to take advantage of the situation, Truth will take care of business. Don't let the battle quality dance moves and rhymes fool you. R-Truth can crack someone across the face whenever he thinks the situation calls for it. He wants it one more. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. A kick out, and he almost had him. How in the world? Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. Here comes Archer. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. Here is your winner. The rep raised three counts. accomplished everything in his career. Uh, Cornerstone, one of the forefathers of the tables, ladders, and chairs match. 
Not yeah. to mention, Byron, the important fact that he totally reeks of awesomeness. And along with Christian, the creator of the five-second pose. The ultimate opportunist. You may think you know the radar oh, superstar, but you won't really know the ultimate opportunist until he plants you with his spear, and by then, it's too late. There's the heel kick. Ooh. Up and face first, Slapjack. The ultimate opportunist. Watch out. You can't help but marvel at Edge and the Hall of Fame career he's put together. 31 total championships, first ever Money in the Bank winner, and one of the most decorated tag team performers in WWE history. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, that's what's up. Byron spoke a bit ago about Edge's Hall of Fame credentials, and they are impressive. It's even more impressive given his start. He's got to be the only Hall of Famer to get started in the sport after winning an essay contest. That's right, Cole. He was 18. Edge won an essay contest for a gym in Toronto. First place winner got training for free. Well, Edge did it, and the rest's history. Even though Edge only won that essay contest because I didn't enter. What a stop. Good grief. The Here we go. That's the impact. Edge is in trouble. The Money in the Bank match at WrestleMania 21 was something very different when it debuted in 2005. Edge is known as a master of ladder matches, and it was the odds-on favorite. The Rated-R Superstar made sure that contract led him to championship goals. Edge set a standard when he won the first Money in the Bank match at WrestleMania 21. But I don't think anyone could have anticipated just how sought after the Money in the Bank contract would become. Our truth is preaching the truth as he knows it. This could be the end of him at any moment right now. He's in big trouble here. I don't think I remember ever seeing him this much off his game. He can crank it up whenever the mood strikes him. Oh, that's what's up. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Now. 
Hook them. DDT. Boom, right across the small of the back. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, continuing to punish them. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. What's going to happen now? What kind of condition is Edge in? He looks like he's heading into deep trouble. Well, that's what's up. He has something big planned. He's looking at it. Oh, face first. He caught him slipping. It is not looking good for our truth Look at our truth King. There's no doubt about it. He's in trouble. And that's the truth. Our truth needs to dig deep and find that little something extra here, or this is going to be over. Look at our truth King. There's no doubt about it. He's in trouble. And that's the truth. Watch out here. When you look at this, simply amazing. It looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. He's making a statement here with this attack. Now with complete control. And our truth evades that one. Oh boy, he is rolling. Here it comes, Michael. Oh, that's what's up. Stop! Good grief! Whoa! Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque! Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! Our truth doing a little dancing now. There he goes, crashing to the floor. And no luck against Edge there. And it's Edge getting out of that one. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. It'll destroy your face. These competitors are walking on dangerous ground right now. Ooh, what a jawbreaker. I don't know how much more these superstars can take, guys. You'd have to think something's got to give here soon. Will tear the features clean off your face. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oof. Just dropped. Four. Face Buster. Five. Face Buster. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. Oh, that's what's up. Our truth is preaching the truth as he knows it. 
Oh, uh, come on, not like this. This is not how I wanted to see this end. Here is your winner, R. Superstar Daniel Bryan, so proud of the fact that he didn't have the hype machine, he didn't have all the praise and promotion. He became a star because he earned his way and he earned the respect of the WWE Universe. We've seen it time and time again when Daniel Bryan's competing in the ring, he possesses dizzying speed and can run circles around most of his opponents. Drop down. Now leapfrog. Leapfrog. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, but before that, I remember Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous 1981 Alley fight, which many consider to be the precursor to Falls Count Anywhere. Avoids trouble there. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson Sergeant Slaughter alley fight had many of the elements of a Falls Count Anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1981, Saxton? Good point. Suplex! What have we got here? Face first. He's starting to feel it here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Few would have thought that yelling yes and no would be instrumental in Daniel Bryan connecting with the WWE Universe. But it's when he started these exuberant celebrations that he also started winning titles and earning main event slots. Setting up for a neckbreaker! Byron brought up Daniel Bryan's celebrations capturing the WWE Universe's attention, but it's more than just easy to chant words. The world saw Bryan's passion for competition when he would celebrate after winning, and while he originally denied them by yelling no, Bryan would soon change his tune. Daniel Bryan finally found common ground with the WWE Universe and formed the Yes Movement to combat the authority. And to this day, Bryan still keeps the WWE Universe enthralled with those Yes chants. The referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. Our truth is speaking truth to power right now. Oh boy, he is rolling. Inverted suplex.
Here it comes, Michael. Oh, that's what's up. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still willing to bet he finds a way to mess it up. Here he goes. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. His shoulders are down. He's got some fight left in him. Nice kick out. You gotta believe this one's over. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. That's over at this point. Let's remember, though, guys, his opponent doesn't seem to be in great shape either. Look at this. Vertical suplex. Nice. He goes for the cover. Well, that was a close call. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. the impact. Oh, man! What a nasty STO. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Look at this. The slam! Oh boy, he is rolling. Here it comes, Michael. Oh, that's what's up. He's got him covered. One, two, and he kicks out. Still in it. He wants no part of the outside. Going all the way up. Incoming. A second time. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. Cover, cover. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. How'd he do that? Will he be victorious? And he got a near fall out of it. Wow. That's pure power, guys. Uh-oh. This might be it. Oh, my. And will this be it? Yes. What is keeping this competitor going? I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. Yes, yes, yes. Boom. Ho, ho, ho. He leaves no... Oh, what a slam! That hurt! Oh, boy, he is rolling. And our truth evades... Oh! The big scissors kick! Oh! The big scissors kick! We've got to cover. One, two, three... What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight. He's stumbling some now. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. He has to remember that falls count anywhere in this match. And given his condition right now, he may fall victim to that sooner than later. Yeah, but the good news is that he still appears to be in better condition than his opposition right now.
Oh, what's it going to be? Big slam. When this guy's on, look out. I think we know what this is. Look at end it here! This could be it! Two! Three! Oh boy, he is rolling! From behind! Beautiful! He's going for the pin! One! Two! He's got to do more damage before he can get a three count. Not yet. What a slam! Impactful. It'll jar your spine. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. He may very well be running on instinct right now. Oh, that's what's up. Here we go. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. He's looking for the win. He's done it. He's done it. I can't believe it. He's done it. Here is 